Howdy y'all, it's your favorite trainer with the belt buckle here at our Santa Monica location. I'm Chris Hitchko, I wrote the book, How to Become a Successful Personal Trainer. Our certification is the best in fitness. We've helped more trainers get hired at Equinox and stick around past 12 months than any company out there. If you want to become successful, you need to master the three skills that I talk about in my book. The trade, people, and business. Those skills are why 90% of trainers quit within the first year, but not when they show up. Today we're gonna to talk about a very common objection during the assessment. I don't have enough time. I just released a podcast on this. So when you're driving to your 5 a.m. session to train your client, you can get some tidbits and some business pointers on how to overcome objections and build a successful, sustainable personal training business. Has anyone ever told you they don't have enough time? Because in my 20 years, I've never had it. I'm not saying I'm this, the best trainer in the world. I kind of think I am, but... I've never heard it. And the reason I haven't heard it is because I'm confident in my delivery. So when someone tells you that they don't have enough time, what that is translated into is you didn't deliver the value in your product for them to invest their time in you. Now, imagine this. Picture perfect guy, girl, and you run into them and they say, hey, how would you like to go on a date? on Wednesday at five o'clock, and you have all this stuff lined up. If that's your dream person, Lacey Chabet for me, I'm even married, but we all have that clause in there. If you meet that celebrity you've dreamed about since day one, don't worry about it, it's fine. I'm just joking, watch Entourage. You're gonna make it a point to show up for that date, that time slot, because you see the value. When a client is sitting across from you and you give them the sales presentation, it's sales, get over it. Learn to love it. I'm obsessed with the sales process. It gets me excited because if the client says no, I smile and I go, awesome. Why don't you want to get in the best shape of your life? I'm really curious because I know that when I deliver the product, I'm not thinking about my bank account. I'm not thinking about, does this person want to work with me? Did I do a good job? No, I'm confident knowing that they need me. I'm the best trainer they've ever met. And so if you ever get that pushback, it's time. You need to review that conversation and challenge them in a polite way and say, awesome, thank you for saying that. So what I heard was, you don't have enough time to get in the best shape of your life. Is that correct? And then they'll be like, no, um, uh, they're gonna fumble on their words and say, Mr. Jones, Mrs. James, I understand what you're going through right now. You're scared. There's a lot of stuff on social media, TikTok, all these influencers telling you, you gotta eat grape juice and have celery with peanut butter to get in the best shape of your life and pig's testicles. It's confusing. But what I'm offering you is your source of fitness and nutrition. And through a period of time, being consistent and overloading appropriately, you're gonna get in the best shape of your life. When was the last time you worked with a qualified trainer three times a week for three months and you didn't miss a day? And you smile and you wait. There's a difference between pushy and annoying. I'm not like this when I have a presentation. If you've ever been to one of our seminars, one of our classes, I do this whole persona just to piss you guys off. Oh, he's such a dick, his belt buckle, always talking about how jacked he is. It's because you guys are so sensitive today. In real life, when I have that assessment, I have my clients come in and say, this is our Santa Monica location. How'd you come across Show Up Fitness? Yeah, we have gyms in West Hollywood, La Jolla. We teach trainers online. All of our trainers have gone through the best internship in the nation. And they also have their Show Up Fitness CPT. Did you know the average trainer studies a textbook and calls themselves a professional? Not at Show Up Fitness. So I state the purpose from the beginning. And I feel a lot of trainers miss that opportunity. So I was having a conversation with a kid at Equinox and he was stretching me out after our session. And he told me that he gets pushed back with the time. And I told him, I said, straight up, dude, it's not that they don't have time, you didn't show the value. You're a young buck, you're 20 years old, you're in your head. I hate it when people say that because we all are. It's the beautiful thing about life. We're in our head, we're alive, we're not in the ground. So appreciate those voices and everything that's going on. It's normal. That's why you learn from people who've been doing it. 
biographies about General Grant and George Washington and people who have done magnificent things. You learn about their experiences. So your angst during the presentation comes down and you have a conversation. When we talk about in our sales presentation, it's not the ABCs. Always be closing. If you go with that mindset, you're going to be too pushy. Take the following scenario. You're working out in the gym and he wants to get stronger for his sport and he's doing push-ups like this. You're not going to mock him. You're not going to be nervous to go give him some advice. You're going to walk up and say, hey, bud, that was some nice push-ups right there. What's our goal? Oh, you want to play football? Badass. That's great, man. Here's a suggestion. In football, you don't push like this, do you? No, you get down like that. You get down. We push like this. So next time you do that push-up, I want you to tuck your elbows and push away from the ground. Squeeze your butt. Nice job, bud. Help him up. Give him a high five. What did you just do? Always be helping. So when you focus on helping people, the presentation at the end isn't nearly as daunting as our mind makes it to be. You deliver the value in what you're able to provide. And that's that trade skill I talked about earlier. And most trainers don't have that because they learn from a textbook. I got 15 years of gym experience. I know what I'm doing, bro. No, you don't. You understand your body. The difference between great trainers that show up who get their CPT, they understand the human body. So it doesn't matter what the condition is. In worst case scenario, they have an ailment, a jacked up ankle, knee, low back, twisted neck, something's going on. You work with a team of therapists, dietitians, doctors in your network that you can refer out to. That gives the trainer confidence. So when you present them, you smile, you have good body language, you aren't like this saying, oh, maybe you want 10 sessions for this much money. I know it's expensive. I've heard that. I've literally sat right next to trainers with the headphones in, hear them give the presentation, and it's terrible. I wouldn't buy training from you. There's no way in hell they would. I'm going to go talk to my significant other. We'll talk about that one later on. Hopefully you found this video helpful today. We want you to be successful. Don't look at the sales as a daunting task. It's fun. You get to show the value and how great of a fucking trainer you are because you are great. When you show up and you understand movement, that means everyone out there in your circle, your followers, they're showing up for you because you are the fitness and nutrition expert. If you want to become a successful personal trainer, make sure to comment, like, shoot us a message on Instagram, show up fitness or show up fitness CPT, both are the accounts. I run them. We're here to help you be successful. Belt buckle trainer, checking out, check out the podcast. Have a great day y'all and keep showing up.